This is the VP2500 paint line. Um, it's an automated paint line with a preheat tunnel and material rolls through there, gets the material up to temperature, then goes into the paint booth uh, where it gets painted all the way around and then proceeds into a drying tunnel uh, to help paint cure and then out to an automated outfeed. Uh, we felt there was a need for paint line due to the type of work that we've been taking on. Uh, we have a lot of infill beams that don't require any parts that uh, are very good products to send through a paint line like this that's very efficient. With the right type of beams, infill beams like I mentioned, we could run typically between 40 or 50 beams a shift. You load the material onto the end feed, um, you put it on your buffer and bay cam, tell it how many pieces of it, which profile you have. The sensors and the material handling will come and find the material. They'll separate it out to the right distance uh, to allow for the paint to get on all four sides of the material proceeds to move it up to the datum line and then roll through the machine to be painted. The paint booth has sensors in it that sense the material as it rolls through, so the sprayers don't activate until it is within contact of the material, and that eliminates a lot of wasted paint. The Vortman paint line uses the same software as the rest of the Vortman equipment, um, Baycam, so it's very easy to cross-train operators to run all the different equipment. Uh, the operating user face is very friendly, very easy to teach people to use. The paint line comes with two different uh, pumps for the paint, so you can have two different paints set up at the same time uh, with a very quick turnaround to switch paints over back and forth. We actually installed an automated door so we can tell the material to move outside so we don't have to stage it inside and we have uh, unloading transfers out there. The paint line is equipped with light curtains like the rest of the Borman material, um, which is a good safety feature to have if something goes wrong, but also allows you to continue production in scenarios and doesn't shut down the whole equipment.